guys it's your girl carmen here and i'm back to you with another video um so i was kind of just sitting around and um watching a lot of youtube videos and i was just like you know what let me stop being lazy let me just not being lazy i was just so like not inspired to make a video so i was just like let me just make a video like let me just make a video like i did my face today because we're i'm going to the movies i'm sorry y'all I gotta hold this down and get this lighting together because I look very white, like very pale. I really need a tan though because like I just look so pale. But yeah guys, so um, forgive my hair, it's a little frizzy, but yeah, look at that highlight, look at that. That's a thumbnail. Is it even clicking? Okay. Sorry guys, I had to get like thumbnails. But yeah, so if you guys want like an updated hair routine, let me know. I can give that to you. If you guys want like a makeup tutorial, I have not been wearing makeup y'all like at all like no makeup at all so today's like a full face and i'm super like like oh my gosh about it because like i haven't been wearing makeup at all you know what i mean but i feel really cute today my hair is frizzy in the front but i'm not gonna fix it because like i kind of like the frizz and i don't feel like dealing with it so i'm just gonna leave it alone but yeah so today's video oh by the way this lip gloss is popping right i really like it it's this Bobbi Brown lip gloss. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a little too bright. It's a Bobbi Brown lip gloss and it's in Beach 16. <laughs> yes, period. So yeah, um, Okay, so I was thinking maybe, you know, today I could do a story time. So I'm going to do a story time. Um. I'm going to do a story time about something personal. And I'm not really a person. It's not too, too personal because I don't get my business out there like that, depending on, like, what it is. Um, I'm not going to get too deep in it. But I think that it's important for everybody to know, especially with everything that's going on in the world and the news, shootings, violence, and people just killing each other. I just thought it was important that I kind of talk about it. So I am very antisocial. It might not seem like it when you meet me. It might seem like I'm very outgoing, like I'm very... But, like, it's hard for me to socialize with people because of not trying to, like, toot my own horn or anything like that, but my mentality and the way, like, it's set up is completely different from a lot of people. I would say I'm, like, very mature, um, especially when it comes to, like, sitting down one-on-ones and, like, having a serious conversation. I feel like I'm so mature, like, I'm beyond my years. And like when I sit down and try to talk to people, they don't get what I'm saying. So I just feel like I'm talking to a brick wall or like I'm talking to myself or I sound stupid. So I kind of just like, I block people out or I just feel like it's better to be by, by, better to be by myself. Um, and it's not healthy. I'm gonna tell you, if you feel like Cause you know i'll see stuff on instagram or like social media and it'd be like you know solitaire or like solitude is you know being by yourself is really um it's really good like all the time and you don't need nobody and that's true you don't need nobody to to you know by your by your side really like that unless it's your family or mom those are the people that are going to be with you to the day you die you understand and god god is always going to be there regardless so like you don't need somebody to be by your corner you know support you like that like somebody out of the blue that's why you know when people are out here giving big titles and stuff like that you have to realize like who you're really messing with um and i've learned that the hard way but 
you know you don't really need anybody like you come out the womb by yourself you go you die by yourself you're in that grave by yourself you're in that tomb by yourself so like it has to come from you know if you're going through an issue whether it's depression or anxiety being a person that is definitely experienced it and is experiencing it or going through it or finding ways to you know not get back into that situation literally find it within yourself it has to come with in here out because in your body will let you know trust me i know trust me i know um i don't want to get too into detail with it if you guys like want like details um depending on what it is i can give you a video about that but in this video i'm gonna keep it like general but i've you know either was lost weight or gained tons of weight or just you know picked at myself for like stupid stuff like um, this is a family channel, so I'm not gonna, I'm making this a family channel, so I'm not gonna cuss on here or nothing like that. But, like, it's just a lot of stuff that I've been through, like, I just always, like, was hard on myself, my anxiety, when it came to, like, people would never know, though. When I tell people this, like, when they get to know me, they're like, Carmen, you don't seem like that type of person, like, you're very outgoing, like, you say, yeah, I seem like that, but I have to literally push myself to be like that, because I'm not like that. I really am not like that like I'm scared <laughs> like I'm literally like while I'm talking to you I'm probably shaking because <laughs> I'm like not a social person like that like yeah it takes a minute for me to be like it's easy f you know on the outside I could put a whole mask on but I'm dying on the inside like you know what I mean like and I know a lot of people go through it that's why I'm not afraid to talk about it or embarrassed or ashamed or like gonna sit here mm -hmm, because I'm not embarrassed um everyone goes through it Either you want to talk about it or not. Either you, you know, you're in an angry phase or not. Everyone goes through it. So, I just felt like it was important for me to tell my story. And what I've been through, just seeing everybody going through different things, violence and stuff. It's important. Your opinion is important. No matter what age you are, your word is important. Um, but when you, legally, when you turn 18, that's when your word really matters and you need to vote. You need to speak out because this community, this nation, this world needs people. Positive people, people that are going to stand up against retarded people, stupid people like Donald Trump that just don't have a sense. Um, you know, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to keep it a buck and how I feel. I'm not going to hold nothing back. For, for other people that those are my beliefs you know if you have your beliefs kudos to you that's great but i'm gonna speak how it is i'm gonna say how it is but like you know me coming from my growing up hold on i'm not gonna say where i live so yeah i'm gonna cut that out i'm not gonna say where i live because it's you know, too much but like um, me coming from where I come from, it's just, you know, it's a small town, very bougie, very high class town. People here are very stuck up and bougie. So um, me growing up here, um, you know, I always felt so closed in. I've always felt different. I never felt like I fit in. I was always the person that was different. Like, I don't know and i i always seen that in myself like i was like i could be so much more i could do so much more than sit here with these people and they don't care about where they're going they don't care about what they want to do they want to stay in the same place they want to stay they want to be comfortable i'm not comfortable and i'll never be comfortable in my position you know until i see myself winning and my family winning every day like that's when i'm gonna i'm not even gonna be comfortable then because i always want to strive bigger and better that's why i'm like any and i'm not in a bad situation like my family i don't come from a poor family i'm not gonna say sit here and be like i'm from a poor family poverty i'm struggling i'm not struggling but i want more and i don't think there's anything wrong with wanting more um i live comfortably you know but i want more you know i want to be able to tell my parents that they don't have to work anymore because I got them. Stuff like that. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Um, or me having to work my booty job, you know, doing something that I actually like. <laughs> because I don't like to sit here and take people's orders and stuff like that that are rude. Like, no. I don't, I don't like it. So, um, 
I just want to be able to do my own thing and get paid for it. So, um, if you're in the same predicament, I'd recommend YouTube. You see all these YouTubers. You could, you could definitely do something like that. Go out. If you want to act, go out and search. You have to invest. You have to realize it's money. I'm not going to sit here and say it's cheap because it's not cheap. It's money, but that's how you get a job. Um, get yourself a job. Go out. You know, go to some acting classes. Go to dancing class. You know, classes. Somebody's gonna see you. Somebody's gonna see your talent. Somebody's gonna want that's in a higher ranking and was at your place once is gonna want to help you and invest in you because they see you investing in yourself. But if they don't see you investing in yourself, they're like, okay, this person's not serious, so why should I invest in them? That's just kind of like common sense and logical. You know, I would kind of be the same way because like, why would I invest in somebody else if they don't want to invest in themselves? that's just like a point blank period um and just kind of common sense but um as i was saying do stuff like that don't knock it till you try it you're not gonna get it's not gonna happen overnight like if you post a youtube video if you post a video on instagram i post covers on instagram i'm not expecting nothing to blow up overnight i had to learn that you know i'm impatient but i'm learning to be patient that's a part of the journey learn to love the process before you get to the top enjoy it now because once you get there it's going to move fast so you you need to enjoy it now um one thing don't ask nobody for no handouts because no one's going to give you nothing for free nothing's for free in this world so you know there's beautiful nice people out here i wish you know there's nobody out here about to do nothing for free even if they do do it for free like no charge with no money later on trust me they're gonna get their pay that's just how stuff works in the world. Like, that's just how it is becoming an adult, a young adult. I'm young, and I had to learn that I'm young. Sometimes I be thinking I'm so old. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I gotta do stuff now. I gotta make a million dollars now because like, you know, there's people out here 17, 16, making money like that. And like, Stop. I had to be like, Carmen, shut up. You're good. Like, you're still young. You have time. Everybody has their timing. People like Cardi B, she started in her 20s, you know, like mid-20s coming in, you know. and But she's making, that's still young. Like, you have to sell your horses just because you see this stuff on social media. Sometimes it's not real. You have to just, your story is your story and stop comparing yourself to other people. Because your circumstances is different. Everybody's circumstances is different. So you have to just learn how to deal with your circumstance and get yourself and level up from where you are now that's your task nobody else's task nobody has to get you anywhere you have to get yourself somewhere and you have to want it you have to speak stuff manifestation is so important you have to speak stuff into existence i'm going here i'm going to move to la i am going to get a penthouse i am going to live by myself i am going to support my family get them out of this area put them into a next area get them a home pay off their their mortgage i'm going to do it because why because i have god and because I have my family that supports me and I believe in myself. So you have to start speaking that. And once you start speaking and you wake up your mind, be like, okay, you know, I got this. Like I am, I could do it. You know what I mean? Don't put yourself down. There's a difference between confidence and cocky. Um, and I've learned that I, you know, over the time I'm like, yo, I can't say that I'm pretty or anything like that because I'm gonna give it a book. I can't say because, you know, that sounds cocky. No, it's not. It's confidence. It's just confidence. Say, I am pretty. I am this. I can model. I can do this. I can do that. So why not just try it? Why not throw yourself out there and do it? It's right there. Might as well. You know, you got to start somewhere. And if it doesn't work out, then that means it just wasn't for you. But there's other stuff ahead. There's better for you. That just wasn't for you. It doesn't matter. And you also have to realize... Um, that not everybody in your circle is there for you you understand they probably see something in you and they are is beneficial for them later on so there's your friend you have to realize your group realize your circle and also instead of also blaming stuff on other people look at yourself too because sometimes it can come from you i had to learn that i'm gonna be for real i'm gonna keep it a buck a thousand trillion I had to learn that. I had to look at step, you know, step back and look at myself and be like, you know, damn, I messed up at this point. I was being selfish because we all have our we're all human. We all have our points where we're selfish. That's just what it is. 
Um, there's nothing more to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not a type of person to sugarcoat things. I'm just gonna say how it is. Um, we all have our points where we're selfish. It's just noticing those points and fixing it and having a solution. Um, not everything has to be fights. Not everything has to be violence and pride, 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 pride. That's one thing in high school. If you're still in high school, I'm gonna tell you this now. I'm gonna tell you this now. And that's why towards senior year, I started losing. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Freshman year, I came in, I had a whole bunch of friends. Senior year really made me realize, yo, high school really made me realize people. Period. Let me stop saying that. Okay? It really made me realize people. Not everyone's for you. People are fake. People will be in your face just because they're jealous of you and they just don't want you to be with... It's actually sick, but it's true. They'll be in your face, want to, you know, be with you every day, but they really don't like you, which is weird. I've never, you know, in my life experienced that until high school, especially the high school that I went to. I don't know. Maybe everybody has their things with their high school, but I feel like my high school is just bizarre. I think the area that I live in is just bizarre. People are just weird. I'm weird too, but then there's sick weird, and then there's, you know, that nice weird, like, she funny, <laughs> like, all that. There's a, but they weird, like, this is a different breed over here, and I don't like it. That's why I'm trying to leave. My goal is to leave and move to, like, LA or something like that. Like, I'm young. The My mentality, the way I'm set up, I could definitely live over there. That's, like, my thing for myself. That's my goal. Also, have a dream board for yourself. If you don't know what a dream board is, it's basically like where you put up pictures of like your aspirations, your goals in life, and then you go get them. So um, <laughs> it helps you go get them. So like you could put it up on like your desk, wherever you like when you wake up in the morning, it should be right in your face. So if your desk is right there and that's the first thing you see in the morning, put on your desk. If your mirror is right there, put on your mirror. Your job is to see that every day and be like, okay, this is where I, I already did this. I hit this. I hit dang i missed this i gotta hit it and you hit it that day if you can hit it that day or you can get something a task done to that's you know towards that then do it do not make an excuse of anything trust me because later on it's gonna pay off i always tell myself later on it's gonna pay off you have to speak because when you speak stuff it actually helps like later on it will pay off i got this i'll make sure everyone's good you have to speak it into existence it's just every you cannot be lazy if you have a lazy mentality your work ethic has to be on point and that's what the youtube stuff too that's what i had to learn like i can't sit here and say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then when a day comes that I, you know maybe i need to make a video or something i'm just slacking off i don't you have to you have to think about the the, the outcome of things watch somebody else's youtube that's what i do when i need inspiration like today i need it i need inspiration like so I was like, let me just watch some YouTube channels. I watch a couple of YouTube channels and I'm watching their stuff. And I'm like, you know what, man, they're doing it. I can do it too. Why not? Because I want to be in that position. You know, what I mean? they're moving, moving their family out, um, you know, doing different things like that. That's what I want. That's my dream. Not to just help myself, but to help my family. If I can do that, I'll be the happiest girl on this planet. Not to say I'm not happy, but the happiest do you understand like most at peace and i don't like to get comfortable i don't like routines i like surprises like meaning and not like gift surprises and stuff meaning in like adventures different things every day you know different tasks every day doing different things that i've never experienced before i like stuff like that because it keeps me going it keeps this moving it's like okay evolving evolution being different i like that a lot of people are scared of change i want change i yearn it i crave it you know what i mean that's that's you should never stop being curious about things i never stop curiosity is so important and that's why children you know it's very important to stay curious and i learned that from my middle school teacher i will never forget what he told me and he he said always stay curious Never lose that, never lose that, because once you lose that, you lose that, your youth. And I think that's the realest thing somebody's ever told me. And that, for some particular reason, always stayed with me. It always stayed with me. So I'm just gonna tell, sorry, let me put some little gloves. 
Mm. So I'm just always going to tell you to stay curious. Do your research on things and always stay positive and, you know, encourage other people. Either you don't like them or you do. Always encourage people because I believe that karma is real. Things come, trust me. And I've experienced it could be the stupidest thing. Somebody might say something to me and then they trip like two seconds later. That's karma. Like, it's happened. So I believe that it's real. You know what I mean? So just always treat everybody the way you want to be treated. No matter what disability they have or anything. And it's not funny to make fun of people like that. And be if you're in a group and people are doing that too in high school, I've experienced that. Be the one to say, hey, yo, that's messed up. Like, what if that was you? What if that was your brother, your sister? Would you want people to be laughing? Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't even have to be in like a fighting manner. If they want to fight, that's because they know you're... You're right. <laughs> and you're trying to front. You know what I mean? So, like, you just got to learn to find yourself and be comfortable with yourself and not care what nobody has to say. Um, especially if you want to make money moves in life and you want to, you know, get to the bag and do your thing. That's what I learned. I will never let anybody get in my way and make money. Period. I said period again, even though I said I wasn't going to say it. But yeah, um, that's a little bit about me. I got really into depth. You know, like really serious about it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I've been working on also a new song. And it should be out soon. And once it's out, you guys are going to hear little previews and snippets on my YouTube channel. Um, as well as Instagram and I'm coming out with a music video as well so don't think I'm not doing anything I am um, but I really do love YouTube I have a passion for it so you guys want me to do vlogs I actually like vlogs and stuff like that makeup too I know you guys like my makeup stuff but that's really not my passion I can do makeup I'm not gonna say anything I can't but it's not my passion here and there if I'm doing a get ready with me I can do it but most of the time, I don't be hanging out, hanging out with a lot of people. Just because of the reasons that I told you. But, um, I'm gonna put myself out there more and try to make new friends and see what what happens. But people will grind me out here. But I, I'll try it. Um, so yeah, guys. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. To hit the bell notification button, please. Because it'll notify you when I make new videos. Um, go on my Instagram, DM me, don't be scared. DM me and just let me know like what videos you want to see. You want to see more story times, more advice videos, hair. Like, you know, I could be doing my makeup too at the same time. I'm going to take pauses because you know, I can't multitask like that. But I could do stuff like that for y'all. Um, lookbooks, let it get a little hotter because the weather's been a little bipolar. So you got to wait for that. But, um yeah guys it's gonna be you know nail vlog too when i get my nails done because my nails are pretty lit if you didn't see them different things like that but you have to let me know so i can make stuff i don't want to be sitting here making content and no one's gonna watch it let's keep it real let's keep it real you know what i mean um i already do my singing covers and stuff on instagram so i decided to leave that on instagram and just kind of make this like a vlog channel and stuff so if you guys want me, you want me to be more active on here, you gotta give me some feedback. Gotta come. Come on. Alright, so I can keep uploading. Um, but yeah, guys, I gotta go. I'm about to go watch the Avengers Endgame. It's gonna be lit. You guys, peace, love, happiness. Bye.